You ever feel challenged making tight tolerance fabricated parts? I'm going to give you a few clamping tips here. So first off, this is the piece here we're looking to make. It clamps on a piece of 4x4 hollow structural. So what we've done here is used a piece of 4x6 because it didn't have any 4x4 in stock. Now these pieces here are just bent a little bit over 90, so they'll slip down on the piece they're going on. And the first thing we do is clamp at the top while the back <clears throat> is pushed up tight. Second thing we do, we have this little angle iron spacer under the bottom here. And we also have an angle iron spacer under the other side. And we have one down around the back here. So we got three points of contact here, so it's not going to rock. So we know that this end is down tight for sure because we've got a piece of 3 sixteenths here, here, and on one other corner there. So after that, we get this piece here, which is this piece here, and clamp it on the bottom, which brings, which flexes this back side of this, flexes this side here in, and clamps up there. After we do that, we check it with the square. We get a straight edge from here down to make sure that there is straight. The more stuff we get square, even if it doesn't matter, the easier it is to reference down the road. So try and make everything good and square. And so once we get that clamped on there, the next thing, we get this little Bessie clamp and put this piece in. And the way we did that, because there's an overlap there, Actually, the first thing we did, we had this piece of quarter inch, figure out how far it goes over from the edge of this flat bar here. That part there wasn't super critical. Then we had this piece of 3 8 flat bar that we put in here. And then once that 3 8 piece is right there, it was easy to get the two foot frame square. And then behind here with this clamp, and go, well you can't really tell how I'm doing that there, but anyhow, and you get the idea if you've done much of this in the past. Then, last thing, because we wanna make sure the top of this is flat with the existing tubing, we got this piece of two by two to use a little strut, clamp it on here first, make sure we get at least three good points of contact, and then check down here, to see if there's any gap, or if it's pushing the other way, and uh, Throw another Bessie clamp in there, which that also serves to keep it square this way. So after this is on, it's a good thing to just go back with that two foot square in here, in this in this corner, and double check. And with that, the tacking sequence is something like this, where uh, sometimes I put this tack on here first, or one on this side, one on the opposite corner, this this one on the opposite hand side and then come back. Well, actually, usually you want to do the opposite hand side. If I had done one on the top corner on the other side, I would do this one, then I'd do this one, then I'd go back and do the one down here, and I'd pop these tacks, and then uh, this one here. If I do this one here, I usually come back and do something like this here to keep this piece here from, from flexing. So, I don't know if that makes any sense, but I've got to start somewhere with these videos. So anyhow, little fabricated clamps for uh, all structural tubing. That's, that's all I got on this one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And please post your comments and suggestions below. Thank you. Bye.